Jason Graham is our Assistant Chief Operating Officer. He came to us last year. He is my boss. Um, and he also said he's not standing behind a podium. So he's I gonna, do whatever she tells me. Don't, don't, don't let her tell you that. <laughs> but he's, so, gonna, he's very much a walker. He's I, very much a walker. I'm a walker. And if I stand behind the podium, you guys won't see me. So <laughs> you guys in the back, I, y'all, y'all got enough trouble as it is when we standing right here. So um, so we took surveys from this conference and the conference that we had in Decatur. We got about 192 responses from both conferences. We got about 170 people here today. I'd love to have 170 responses today to, to get your feedback, one, on um, how much you guys are paying for your, your employees' benefits and how much you guys are putting towards that, but also to get the feedback that we've got up here. So, um, you know, good feedback from everybody that we, we had in attendance at the, uh, at the conferences. Also, if you do turn in your surveys, there will be a drawing at the end mm-hmm. for a $50 gift card. So just FYI, just an incentive to get that turned in and have it completely filled out. It's got to be completely filled out with your name, unit number, all that good stuff. But last year, uh, those you know, said that I, I have a better understanding uh, of the benefits offered. 123 people said that they strongly agree. Those that uh, had a better understanding of our processes, about 111 agreed. And then the attendance at the uh, conference was uh, time well spent. And there was about 129 of those that uh, strongly agreed. So. You know, we, we greatly appreciate, <clears throat> excuse me, the surveys that you guys do for us and the feedback you give us. So last year's conferences, we also ob- obviously asked for feedback and we did again this year. Um, some of the things we took back. So offer virtual training of benefits or a link to provide employees on things that we learned today. So there will be a link for that. And there will also be, we're in the process of working with some video companies to create quick two to five minute videos on our benefits to help you guys get people enrolled as well as to help your employees understand how our benefits work. So that's coming. And the next uh, next comment that we had, ideas on how we counties can better get the word out to our employees, lots of time memos, something else that Michelle's working on right now to get all of the memos and uh, a lot of the flyers from our um, vendors on our website and a portal that you guys can go to and pull. You can give them out to your new employees, give them out to your old employees, especially with Verta and uh, and Wonder Health, those those type of uh, services that we offer to help educate your, your, your employees. <clears throat> Scanning paper by paper to upload the online enrollment site is time consuming. Not sure if there's another way to do this. Rob mentioned it. David mentioned it. You guys asked about it during the round table just a few minutes ago. It's coming. Benefit Focus will be here hopefully sooner than later, but we're in the process right now. Quicker response from emails sent to IT support of the status of issues. What we have done in the past nine months is implement what we call white glove service. So we are trying to go above and beyond and offer better service than we already are. These young ladies over here that work in enrollments, Jacob and IT, all of us in administration, we wanna make sure that we're responding to you guys when you have a question, when you have a concern, when something's happening. And we're doing our best to roll out more and more things when it comes to the white glove service. So hopefully you'll see improvements in that, but that's something that we've done here in the, in the, in the last nine months or so. More unit outreach, level one hour wellness presentation for our staff quarterly or annually, uh, if content is readily available. Um, David mentioned this earlier um, about the <clears throat> local government boot in the door initiative. So he and I have been out um, visiting quite a few units and uh, we've, we've seen some of you guys and, and we're just getting out to really put our boot in the door so you know who we are and, and actually come see your units because there's a lot of you that we've met that have said, Nobody from local government's ever been here before. Thank y'all for coming. So that's an initiative. The one hour wellness presentation for staff quarterly. I'll leave that up to uh, Jessica and uh, and Marie. So do electronic signatures on forms. You guys can do that today. There is some uh, verbiage on those forms that say you can submit them with an electronic signature if you guys have the ability to do so. So that is allowed today. Have a little more time to review the admin guides. You guys have them in your hands today. So we apologize for last year's. That was an anomaly. And you guys will have them at the conferences from here on out. Back in Q2, we send out we sent out a member survey to all of our all of your employees. And we got quite a good response back. Now, one of the things that we did was we took a lot of keywords from the members surveys to kind of figure out, all right, where where's our keywords? So I told you guys we're playing Family Feud. Some of the keywords up there that you might want to look at: prescriptions, health plan, pay better, lower copays, coverage, medications, benefits, dental, optum, insurance. 
these are key words that we took from the bigger the word, the more prevalent that the, uh, the, uh, the word was within the responses from the members that submitted a survey back to us. So we'll get into some of the stats here. So we sent out almost 25,000 emails to all of our employees and we did it numerous times just to remind them. We gave them about two and a half weeks to complete it. We got 7.3% response rate. Rob and I were looking for about a 5%. So we were excited that we got almost eight, you know, over 1,800 responses. Sorry. And so some of the responses that we got, so we asked them about Blue Cross. We asked them about Optum. We asked them about Southland and, and LGHIP. So 86% said that they were always or most of the time satisfied with the customer service. So now down at the bottom, you got 19% that said they had not contacted customer service. If you take those numbers, that's about 345 people that have never contacted customer service. So that can skew these numbers a little bit. Um, 67 said they were satisfied. 11%, 3% said they were neither satisfied nor dissatisfied. And 3% said they were dissatisfied. So that's a small number. Optum feedback. <clears throat> so we got 68% that said they met their needs. We've got 43% <clears throat> said they were satisfied. 17, neither satisfied nor dissatisfied. You got 9% that were dissatisfied and you got 32%, which was about 590 people that said they were, that they had never contacted their customer service. Southland, you, can get, you guys can see the numbers. Now, big one here, that was 61% said they had never contacted Southland. That's about 1,100 folks that had never contacted Southland. So those numbers are gonna be skewed a little bit when you're, you're looking at truly what those, what those numbers are. And then LGHIP feedback, 56% said they were satisfied, 11% neither or, or you know, neither nor, 5% uh, dissatisfied or very dissatisfied, and then 30%, which is about 550 folks that uh, had never contacted us before. <clears throat> now, program awareness, this is one that we're huge on. We wanna make sure that our employees or your employees understand what programs are available to them. So annual wellness screen and 94% knew about the annuals, annual wellness program. Last year, we had about 86% participation. So we're missing, you know, about 8% there. They know about it, but they hadn't done it. Preventative care benefits, 62%. Baby yourself, only 40% knew about that. But take into account, you got females and males that are looking at this, and males may not know anything about baby yourself. So tell the doc, <clears throat> got 82%. You got Verda, that 50% knew about it, and Verda's a huge one. So Verda, they, we've talked about it, and, uh, you know, that's one that, we want to ensure that anybody that's a type two diabetic understands and knows what Verda can do for them. And then Wonder Health about 62%. We also surveyed our retirees. We surveyed about 1,500 non-Medicare non retirees. We also surveyed about 1,300 Medicare retirees. And we got about a 3% response on the non-Medicare with a 5% response on the Medicare. And I'm not gonna read all these numbers to you, but most of them, you know, say that things were good and, uh, you know, Southland, 44% said they were very satisfied or satisfied, but most of them had never contacted Southland or dealt with it. And that's on the non-Medicare side. And then on the Medicare side, uh, does you know, United Healthcare meet your needs? 96% said yes, that they were always or most of the time, and they were 86% satisfied or, or very satisfied with their customer service. All right. <clears throat> so I've got eight answers that you guys are gonna see in a second. So there's eight people that have an opportunity to win a prize. So question is, Top keywords from the member surveys. Hey. hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. She's ready. She's ready. Get it, sister. Jennifer. Pay. Pay. We're gonna say pay better. All right. Yeah. Pay better. All right. Y'all keep up with the Jennifer's got one. I might be heavy on this side. Y'all all won prizes already. But keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Yes, ma'am. Optum, you know, Optum is, we'll go with this one right here. It may not be spot on, but if it's not exactly correct, we're, we'll be good. Yes, sir. Co pays. Co pays. All right. So, all right. So if you've, if you've won a prize so far, Jennifer, raise your hand right here. This young lady that you're about to walk to back right here, David, right now, right behind you right here. Nope. Nope. Right there. And then there's a, the gentleman back here with the beard. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? Coverage. Maybe so. Yep, coverage. Back on that side, Dustin's got you. Yes, ma'am, back in the back. Benefits. Benefits. Did I say benefit? Mm, maybe I did. Yeah, I did. 
<clears throat> yes, ma'am. Medication. medication. Did I say medication? I might have said medication as well. Y'all took good notes. Yes, ma'am. Insurance was one. Yes, ma'am. All right, we got the number one answer here. In the very back corner. They are, Which one? They're dying back there. All right. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. All right. And yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Plan pay. Plan pay. No, we're close. Come here, Michelle. I need. I need. I need a an objective we here. Is this uh, what I hear? So no, you're good. You're good. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Health. Okay. Hit it. Hit Did it. we do it? Survey. Says. We got it. Survey says. Great job, folks. <clears throat> All right. So again, surveys are very important to us. We try to act on on the comments that we get from you guys if we can do, if we can make something happen. So please fill out your fill out your surveys today. We're gonna turn them in. If you if, or take them to anybody over here, and we'll all get them back over here to the central we'll, central location. We'll take, it and then we'll take care of it. We'll take it. So at the next break, if you guys want to turn them in, that's great. If you have them ready. Just make sure you get them to us before we give out prizes, and that way we can draw your name and you can win a $50 gift card. That's all I've got, so thank you all so much. We appreciate you, and uh, 